Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to have music playing in the back. I'll put my Spotify in the description below so that I'm going to follow. Um, I now have Apple Music, so I'm like slowly starting to add like playlists and stuff if you want to go follow me on there too. And I asked you guys questions on Instagram. I can answer them for y'all, so let's get started. Guys, okay, so el otro día, I was walking outside with my friend, right? And I ran into my other friend. We were in the, like the sun was hitting, right? Like obviously, like era como las cuatro de la tarde, like school had just ended. And the guy told me that you could see my mustache. He was like, do you have a mustache? And I was like, ah, oh. like, that hurt my feelings. So, now I shaved it off. I've been using this um, Lancome primer. And I actually really like it. Like, it makes my face, like, look so flawless. And, like, my face just looks so good. Me encanto. So, I really recommend. Okay, so I concealed the bottom of my brows already. I'm gonna do like a little eyeshadow look today where I'm gonna try. Cause literal nunca me hago la sombra. Like literally never. So I'm gonna try today. A ver que. Cause like, I don't know. I would love to like be good at freaking eyeshadow. But es que nunca lo hago. And like, I never really have like a occasion to do it for anyways. So like, you know, I never really practice it. Si tú te casas el día de tu boda, le digo a tu esposo con risas que solo es prestada la mujer que amas porque sigue siendo mía. Okay, so I recently got this palette from Morphe and it's like a pink version. It's pink, it's so cute. But look. I'm gonna do one eye and then I'll come back to finish the other eye on camera. Okay, okay. don't be mean. It looks. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it. This is like one of my like few times that I ever do eyeshadows. Okay, so la primera pregunta que me hicieron es ¿Qué edad empezaste con inseguridades? Um, la verdad como los... Yo digo que a los 11, 12 años. Like during middle school times where like, you know, people started realizing like, oh, like we're all different. Like not all of us look the same, you know? Like we all have different features, like different faces, different bodies. And I feel like that's when like I started getting insecure about certain things. And I feel like my first um, insecurities were usually like how skinny I was, because I was I, I was like pretty skinny in middle school. I wasn't like scrawny, scrawny, but like I was skinnier than what I wanted to be. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys my first time smoking. I think the first time smoking. I don't know, but I just know I used to get caught smoking a lot. Like, <laughs> literally. Siempre, siempre me, me metían problemas yo. Like, I know. It's bad. And I don't, I don't smoke anymore. This was like in 2020. Like, my 2020 was like my worst year where I did like the worst things ever, literally. I know. Era bien rebelde yo. I would do everything to like smoke. I was a. Oh, I know. Que. Que asco, it's bad, like it's embarrassing and I hate it, but I would never do it again. But I would never like go back to those habits, I feel like that's just so like, no, it's not for me. Okay, someone said what's my type, for one, tall. It's not really like I only get with tall guys, but it's just like the pura casualidad every time, that, like when I think back at like who I've like talked to, like guys that I've been with. Um, they're always tall and they don't have to be like super super tall, but they're like pretty tall Like they're on the tall side, you know, okay Otra cosa is like guys that are not shy. I don't really like shy guys because I feel like I'm already shy myself Shy and shy just like doesn't go together Si vas a estar con alguien, yo digo que tiene que haber una balance entre como es cada persona Another thing about my type is morenitos Morenitos Oh, <laughs> I think I've only been with like one widow. No me acuerdo. Creo que es uno. De que me acuerdo ahorita es uno. But most of the guys I've talked to are morenitos. And again, like it's not like that I purposely do it. It's like, that's like what I attract to. Like, another thing I look for is a guy that is funny. Humor is a big thing. Okay, otra pregunta que me hicieron is how to deal with insecurities. Um, honestly, that's a pretty like hard question. I feel like more nowadays to do with insecurities since there's a lot more that people point out about like not only each other but like themselves affects other people to have more insecurities about themselves. You know, like 
o sea, por ejemplo en TikTok, like people pointing out like, oh, like I hate my stomach because it's not like super flat, or I hate that I don't have like a super curved waist, or I hate that my elbow or my no my elbows no my wrist. my shoulders are too broad or too big or like you know i hate that i don't have like skinny arms or i hate like you know like people just point out so much now and i feel like it's really hard to do with insecurities that way it's probably not really a good response but like genuinely what i do is just ignore it someone said how i grew on social media um me personally i really don't think like i'm that big on social media i feel like i mean my biggest platform is tiktok at the moment i have like 120k on there but it, i i feel like i compare myself to like other people a lot and i feel like i'm just like i see myself and i see other like actual influencers and stuff and i'm like like i'm not that i'm not that important like i'm not really up there yet you know like i feel like i still have a lot to go if i want to be like an actual influencer and stuff and like at the moment i really just do this for fun like, i enjoy posting myself i enjoy really talking to myself uh, i feel like it's just a look i want to like on my own time you know like if, whether there's a camera rolling or not i talk to myself regardless and, and it's not like talk to myself as an oh hi guys with no rolling camera like it's like i explain things to myself like i feel like i think out loud which is like the reason that like it's so easy for me to talk to myself on camera okay someone said biggest heartbreak um i feel like my biggest heartbreak was definitely this year um i actually did talk about about this situation on tiktok live like hace un mes creo hace tiempo but um yeah there was like a lot of people watching it i don't really want to like say the full story on here right now i feel like that would honestly be like a whole like youtube video for itself that i could do but long story short my first heartbreak was this year the heartbreak itself was during the summertime como a finales de junio um y pues la verdad que me afectó, sí me afectó, eh, pero no dejé que me afecte tanto porque pues ya saben que yo, yo no me dejo, la verdad yo no me dejo, like I'm not gonna let anything um, stop me from like, you know, moving on with my life and being happy, I feel like I've never really been that way, like things happen for a reason and you know, obviously that situation happened for a reason, so I just like, I was, I cried about it and that's it, like, I moved on. Okay, so, um, someone asked me how I started doing makeup. Um, honestly, I always really fell in love with, like, beauty in general. Así cosas como pintarme las uñas, maquillarme, arreglarme, you know, la ropa. Siempre me encantó todo ese tema de estar bien arreglada, you know. La verdad, desde mi chiquita me encantaba pintarme las uñas yo sola y comprar así como el maquillaje de niñas de nomás el brillo y todo eso when i was 11 my mom bought me my first like makeup so she bought me like um uh, i think it was like a moisturizer slash sunscreen con eso empecé and then she bought me like this little highlight palette that had like different color highlight which how you would use like the pink one for blush and like the yellow one or like the white one for highlight y cosas así, y then she bought me like a little BB cream Luego, luego creciendo, fui comprando más maquillaje Like, I started buying like an actual concealer And I would do like little dust concealer And then I would buy like um, I actually hated blush, I don't know why But I had this like, like I just had this thing in my head that blush was so ugly Y ahora la adoro, ahora me encanta ponerme blush En principio del año pasado um i started like doing like actual makeup makeup like i would like put like concealer like a lot like actually conceal and like i started like learning about contour and like um you know like defining your face and setting powder and all that stuff i watch a lot of makeup videos so i feel like that's another thing that really helped me i really just like taught myself how to do it like, it really just takes time and practice i feel like practice is a big one and when people ask me like what's your biggest tip it's practice like, i'll put y'all on these she glam blushes they're literally the cutest like they they work so good i love them. and they blend so nicely man. 
I feel like a really big thing that I've learned to love to do on my makeup is doing all liquid products first before I apply any powder to my face. And honestly, it's like done a really big change in my makeup. I am obsessed with doing that. Oh, and let your concealer dry. Like whenever you apply your concealer like this, let it sit for a while before you like even blend it. So I apply my concealer like this and then I just let it sit for a while. While I'm waiting for this to set, I go ahead and spray with setting spray. And I start with everything else and leave the under eyes for last. Once I blend it with the brush, I go on top of it with my beauty blender just so it doesn't leave like any streak marks. Guys, I'm literally so jealous of anyone who's gonna be able to go see Ivan Cornejo next year. Like, ugh, I wanted those. I even take it so bad. Guys, meeting my base literally looks so good. Someone wanted me to talk about like school and my future, you know, like what I plan to do in the future. My school does offer a year of community college my senior year. So like basically I will graduate high school with a college credit. And if you're wondering what I want to study, um, I am going to the medical field, which I'm very, very excited about. I honestly fell in love with the medical field my freshman year of high school and, you know, I feel like I'm very passionate about what I want to do now. My dream career is to be a plastic surgeon or not just plastic surgeon but like a cosmetic surgeon in general. But my senior year I am taking a phlebotomy class which I am very grateful that my school offers. I'm gonna do my nose contour real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I know it looks intense, but it's gonna look better once I bake it. Um, but let me just put the blush. I've been obsessed with the Juvia's Place Volume 2 blush. As my makeup tutorial actually got a lot of views compared to like my other videos on YouTube. Um, my makeup tutorial has like 20k views right now, I think. Now I'm gonna bake. I used the Laura Mercier powder um to bake in case y'all are wondering i'm literally so freaking stressed like finals week literally drained me to the max like i feel like my biggest goal starting next semester is to stop procrastinating like generally i need to start doing things on time like stop leaving things to last minute because i feel like that's what caused me to stress out a lot more this finals week um that like i was trying to turn in all my freaking missing work like all last minute when i really should have done it since the beginning like guys y'all know what my mom told me she said that whenever i get married quiere que me case con un gringo alto y vaquero and i told my friend and she said she sees me with one like she sees me marrying or like dating a tall white cowboy it looks so good look at my makeup right now just miren miren que bonito se ve me encanta Okay, so I line my lips with this lip liner the Rimmel London in the shade 45 and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade 03 Moon. Look at that. Miren, que bonito. Ahora si me voy a quitar el polvo. See, I just use like this little like powder brush to take off my powder. And I just dust all of it right off, like so. Try to not leave like too much of a harsh line. I'm gonna get some of this like pinkish glittery shade that's in my palette. And I'm just gonna like tap it on top of the highlight. I'm gonna put a little bit of setting spray so it's like more pigmented, para que se note más. Okay, ahora sí. Highlight is done. So my base is all done no más faltan las pestañas i'm gonna be using aloe cosmetic lashes in the style evelyn obvio primero me voy a poner rimmel y luego me voy a poner las pestañas because then guys sometimes like people don't put mascara before putting lashes and you can see like all their white lashes under and it just doesn't no se ve bien amigas la verdad no se ve bien para ser sincera con ustedes so i saw esta grace i don't know if y'all watch her Grace, is that, what's her last name? 
I don't know, the one that's dating Armando. Um, I saw on her live that she said that she like glues her lashes like más arribita from her liner and then she like squeezes her natural lash with like the lash so it like lifts her face so whenever like she has lashes they don't droop down you know so i think i'm gonna try that guys do y'all have this issue too or is it just me nunca me salen iguales las pestañas it just doesn't look the same like i feel like this one looks more full than this one or is it just me no sé but my makeup looks so good i'm actually happy con como salió todo it looks so good so here's how the eyeshadow came out okay you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all seem to enjoy watching me do my makeup and hearing me talk i don't know how much i'm but you know i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel i'm actually getting closer to 10k which is very exciting for me so yeah bye guys